Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you everything you wanted to know about the VLOOKUP function as well as the HLOOKUP function and also going to show you how to use the fourth parameter or fourth argument of VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP which oftentimes you don't use. Also going to be a bonus lesson on transpose. So I've got my data here. I've got a worksheet called VLOOKUP. I've got some first names, some last names, and some percentages. Now the classic example is we want to take these percentages and we want to translate them into letter grades. Right? Sure, you could just do that by looking it up, but imagine if we had hundreds of rows. So this sounds like a situation for a VLOOKUP. So I'm going to use the dialog box, so I'm going to head over to the Formulas tab function library lookup and reference VLOOKUP all right VLOOKUP because this is a vertically oriented table you'll see an H lookup in a minute here so our dialog box here isn't a ton of help but it's not that bad either lookup value means what do you want to look up in the table in this instance I want to look up C2 which is the percentage for rock shoulders a tab on down table array this means where do you want to look up those numbers tables pretty easy to find it's right here so G3 to H11. I'm going to hit F4 to make that an absolute reference. It wasn't entirely necessary, but since I'm going to be fill handling, it is necessary. And this last, this is a confusing one for most people in the beginning at least. So what column do I want to return? Well, I'm looking up this number in this table, and what I want are the grades which are in column number two. Perfectly natural for someone to answer like, what column do you want with like something like column H. However, that's not the way this works. It's it's column number two. We're not going to use this right here. In the last video, we'll show I'll show you what range lookups for. I go OK. You can see it's going to give me a D, which looks right because Rock got a 68, and it is. I'm going to grab my fill handle, pull it on down, and why did this break? Now this is a good point, so why did this break? Well, it broke because this right here is a score of 22. Worth talking about how these tables need to be structured. You're probably just concerned with how to use the function correctly. Understand that anything above 97, right, these are all essentially inequalities. So everything from 50 to 60 is an F, right? 60 to 70 is a D, so there's a range here. And so this is essentially out of bounds. So it would make a lot more sense to do this. Right? You're not going to get a letter grade that's less than zero, right? but you certainly could get one below 50. So just restructuring the table was the key there. You usually don't have to do that, but you might. Right now everything seems to be working correctly. That's a VLOOKUP. Let's go look at an HLOOKUP. All right, so I don't have a table here, so I'm going to show you what I want to do. Essentially, I want the exact same table, but instead of having a vertical orientation, I want it to be horizontal. So I'm going to select it, um, copy, head over to this sheet and I'm going to click and sell F2 and what I want to do it's called transpose right it's right here and essentially what that does it copies the data but it switches it instead of rows it switches it to columns sorry about that I just smacked the mic and now I've got the same table I like this because exact same data you saw me cut and paste it but uh, now it's uh, in its rows instead of columns and so same problem different scores so I want to translate these scores into letter grades. So I'm going to head over to the Formulas tab, Lookup and Reference. And instead of VLOOKUP, I'm going to do an HLOOKUP. Right? Seems complicated. It's not. It's the exact same dialog box, except instead of column, it says row. I want to look up that value. In this table, I'm always going to do an absolute reference, really exact same set of steps here. And instead of what column do I want to return, it's what row do I want to return. And I want to return row two. Really, clue is, is, is not a whole lot different. Uh, I guess at this point, uh, good to maybe mention that you, what you're looking up has to be the first row or the first column. And oftentimes, what you're returning is the second column. And notice these are inequalities. Okay, so essentially between zero and sixty is what that means. I get a C plus. Double click the fill handle, and that is one way to use fill handle. Looks like it worked correctly. Now on to the last example, by far the hardest. So these are pretty similar gradebook examples. This one's a little bit different. So I've got my same, so my same crew, everyone from Rock Shoulders to Kobe O'Neill. And we've got, instead of numeric data, numeric data lends itself pretty well to this because you can do inequalities, right? A number is either between, you know, 50 and 60, or it's between 70 and 80 or something like that. Here we're looking up words. 
right? So clearly the same idea of inequalities isn't gonna translate in the same way. So I'm gonna show you how to deal with that. So we've got a table here and depending on your department, you're gonna get a different bonus. All right, so I want to populate column D with a lookup. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna head over to lookup and reference. This table is vertical, so it's a VLOOKUP. I'm gonna look up this value, not numeric. I know right away this is different. Uh, my table is here absolute reference as always now what I want is in column 2 you might get the impression that it's always 2 it's usually 2 not always 2 and then I'm going to head down here to range lookup um, I guess let me just show you why this doesn't work All right, let me fill handle this and you know, what's going on here typically when your fill handle goes wrong it's because you don't have absolute references on the middle argument but I do, and why is all this, why, why am I getting 100,000 for sales? That's clearly not, not correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the function dialog box, and as I was saying, we're gonna use the fourth parameter here. And if we read the little tool tip, or whatever you would call this, so if you omit it, it's equivalent to true. So in other words, it's going to look for a value between certain ranges if it's true. However, if you give it a false, uh, which is a zero, right? True or false, zero is one way to do that. Zero means look for an exact match. So this idea of inequalities is out the window when you do a zero. And when you're looking for words, I'm telling you this is how you're gonna wanna set it up, right? And so now management's getting their appropriate six-figure bonuses, right? And you can see that this is working correctly. So to try to explain what happened there was, this is not, like sales isn't, it's not between sales and marketing, right? There's no inequalities. You're looking for an exact match. So probably the best way to think about that fourth parameter is if you give it a zero, it's going to look for exact matches. And when you're trying to match up words with values in a lookup, that is usually what you want to do. Whereas numbers, you usually don't want to look up the exact number in the table. You might, but it's usually not the case. And that, in seven minutes, which is pretty long for a single function, is probably most of what you would ever need to know about a VLOOKUP. Thanks for watching.